Let's go. Yo, what is up guys? It is the Ninja Reviewer here and welcome to the live reaction slash review of the one and only which has returned this week after a break hiatus of One Piece Wah. Chapter 832 Live React Slash Review. Now, I apologize if I didn't do it earlier on. Yes, well, it's returned, but it pulled a surprise motherfucker, and it's a day early compared to what we usually get. Uh, Cinematorico. So, I do apologize. I didn't know. I overslept, which, because, you know, it, it, it's a Wednesday, man. On a Wednesday, I don't have to worry about chapters. You know what I mean? Usually, certainly, but I'm like, oh shit, why do I have a feeling it's out early today? So then I was just like, looking at Manga Stream just in case, and wouldn't you know it, the chapter came out fucking early. Because I saw someone's YouTube page. So, I kind of sort of know what's to be expected, but not really, but regardless of Toriko, I'm blind, I have no idea, but regardless though, a lot of people had mixed opinions once again on this chapter, just like I said, you know, um, last the last chapter we had, well not last week, but the other chapter we had. So anyways, here we go, and we got this really cool color page of the Shonen Jump issue of the Phone Gold stuff, we have Luffy, Usopp and Chopper, and they're riding in a car, which is uh, kind of cool. We got the One Piece logo, and we have Nami, and we have that other chick with the uh, with the hat, which I think is the one that's associated with gold. That's supposed to be Zoro, or the main villain, because it looks like no, that's Zoro. That's Zoro. What the fuck is up with him though? Looks like he's all covered in gold. Was that the dude? Uh, was that the main villain, like the dude who has the golden shit? Because um, it's kind of crazy. Woo! Hello, pretty sick. Ah. Oh. Yo! Uh, wait, why do I have my headphones on? What the fuck? There's like no music. Why are my headphones on? Oh, yo! The fucking... Uh, yo! Can you say the thirst is real? Because goddamn, the thirst is fucking real. I mean, th literally, the, the, the thirst is real. This, this, this gold digger, fucking Nami, of course. Literally, the thirst is real. She's drinking fucking goddamn water pouring it down her mouth, splashing it down her bathing suit to her big ass titties, and why can't we just get Robin? Like seriously, why can't Robin have that same moment with Nami? Why does it have to be fucking Nami? I mean, Robin just has a good enough body. Can't we just have Robin, like, as her, like, with a Nami moment? I'm just saying, I know that's not part of her character, but come on, Robin still got a body herself, so I'm just saying. Plus, not to mention, she's more older than Nami, so... You expect her to pretty much be there. And we got Chopper looking cute. I don't know what the hell is going on with him. Because we can't see him. He's like cut off sort of. I guess he's going for a swim with the rest of them. Which is like my guess. And then of course they're all just diving in the pool. I'm going to say this in my background. So again this is probably not our summer background. I know last year we had one as well. And I think this is going to be the second summer background as well. That we're having. So I'm definitely saving this. Because this is actually. It fits for the entirety of summer. So it makes sense. And then maybe once the season changes. I'll probably change up the. Um, the whatchamacallit. Um, desktop. Anyway. What the fuck? Okay, that's one creepy ass looking picture. It's realistic, but it looks fucking realistically creepy. Except for Chopper. Chopper kind of looks adorable, surprisingly, but. Usopp and Luffy? No. They look completely fucking realistic and creepy. Like those, uh. Those Cabbage Patch dolls and shit. Um. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Whole Cake Island. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Finally, here's the real chapter. Whole Cake Island, Sound and Western Coast, The Seducing Woods. I was always thinking of The Seducing Woods, meaning, like, seduce as, like, women seducing, you know, in the forest. But it's really just, like, an old saying, like, seducing, meaning, like, you've been screwed over, pretty much, like. In other words, in our day of age, you got pranked, bro. Pretty much, it's the equivalent of you got pranked, bro. Pretty much. The crew is after Sanji, because they have bitten off more than they can chew. They notice the straw hats have realized how they know. and and these fucking trees, dude! I swear to God, Alice in Wonderland meets some kind of Walt Disney film. I swear to God, no, no, they haven't. But they've definitely noticed that sums things up. Madame Borelli is having some fun with them right now. Whose fool will they end up as? They would make quite a delicious smoothie. 
Run, hurry. And we see little hooves. I'm assuming that's Chopper. I don't know who the fuck is running. With. Oh, Nami. Okay. So, Nami and Chopper are running from wherever the fuck this thing is. Oh, Carrot's right behind them. Okay. Still coming. Still right behind us. Let's get the hell out of this place as quickly as possible. It's like, got it. This rabbit is incredibly strong. <laughs> oh, so I, it was a rabbit. Oh, wait. I thought it was a cat for a second. So, it was a rabbit? Oh, because a lot of people thought that thing looked like Puss in Boots for some reason. Like, a lot, yeah, they all, they, everyone who read the chapter two weeks ago said they, it looked like a cat thing with the outfit like Puss in Boots, but it, it's not, though. It's, it's, it's a fucking rabbit. Um, okay, all right, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, all right, so we got a rabbit on rabbit action. Okay, so we have Carrot versus where the fuck this rabbit is. I didn't say its name last week, I don't remember. But anyways, but definitely not a mink. Really? I wonder if it's a devil fruit user. What the fuck? Yo, what's this rabbit doing? Holy shit. Yo, this dude... Yo, wow. Okay, is this dude pulling on some Mihawk shit? Never mind the person boost look. This dude looks like straight up fucking Mihawk. Except, it's a fucking rabbit. And he's dressed up like Mihawk doing like... Not like a sword technique, but he's like spinning a... Like those, like, needed poles or some shit. Yo, that, that that's freaking crazy. Alright. This rabbit's not the one to fuck with. And of course, yo, I love that kick, though. We get Carrot doing an awesome kick against where the fuck this rabbit is. So that's actually cool. We got some rabbit on rabbit going on action. Okay, here we go. Glare, see? You're unable to emit Electro. Oh, that's right! I forgot, um, fucking, whatchamacallit. Wasn't Carrot's powers, I believe, like, electric or something? Yeah. She has some kind of electricity butt in her body. Maybe it's part of, like, hockey, but I don't really know. And she's like, Carrot, don't get separated. I know. Sorry. Sorry in advance, Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird? That thing looks like a goddamn pelican or a film. No, like a pe- What the fuck, Mr. Bird? It's a crane. Oh, it's a crane. I, oh, okay. I was, yeah, I knew it looked something familiar. The bird's like a crane. Okay. Crane. Damn, yo, this rabbit's- Yo! Oh, you can't even tell by the eyes it's a Mihawk look-alike rabbit. Like, seriously. It's got the cape, it's got the fucking hat and the cape. Dude, it, it's fucking Mihawk only as a rabbit, but th this rabbit's got skills. R rabbits be hawking up now. Like, shit. Yo, this is actually pretty cool. Alright. Alright, compared to the other chapter, I think I might actually like this chapter a bit better, because we're getting some pretty cool action here, you know, regardless. So, this is pretty cool. Alright, alright. I can fuck with this. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, this does have a name. I'm sorry. Sorry for stalling. Um, he does have a name. It's Big Mom's Pirates Crane Rider Randolph. Crane Rider Randolph. Oh, I like that name. That name is badass. Randolph. Okay, that's a badass name. I'm not gonna lie. So, this rabbit is part of Big Mom's Pirates Crane Rider. Alright, so this rabbit ain't no bitch. You can obviously tell he ain't no bitch. He will probably fuck you up in some way possible there's a weapon flying towards us dodge it hmm is it just me or did i hear voices behind no 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 what the oh yeah this 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 weird giant dude i forgot about this dude i totally forgot about him from last week but it's whatever that apple juice giant freak where the fuck is him no hey it's you lot again you're almost back to where luffy is Oh, and Luffy fighting off that same clone thing again, the other form of Luffy. They're still going at it. Get out of my way, Luffy. We're heading back to the coast. Hey, huh? Are you guys quick? There's no time to talk right now. This forest is full of all kinds of shady traps. It's a trap! I told you guys it was a trap. I told you. I told you. Puddin has lead you into the direction of danger. She was too sweet to trust. And I pretty much called it that she was way too sweet. I told you guys she deceived you. It's a trap. So here we go. We've got something right on our heels at the moment. Run to the exit as fast as we can. It's that river with the talking croc. Once we get past that bridge, we should be right by the exit. He goes, wait, that guy's not me. Oh, dear God. Does that mean that they actually switch? Wait. So does that mean both of the Luffy's actually switched right there? Oh, shit. Okay. So that means the real Luffy is not with them. Which is my guess. What did you Did you say something, Luffy? No, no, not, not a word. Oh, uh-oh. What about Sanji? Well, the thing is, we're also not sure about, uh... 
We're not sure about who that guy we saw was anymore. Let's save the talk for once we made it out, Nami. I'm so glad we decided to leave while we're still now our way out. The coast should be showing up any minute now. Huh? Huh? Why? Oh, come on. I don't care for this fucking dude. I don't care for Mr. Apple Juice Freak. I don't care for this guy. Alright, but whatever. Let's see what he says. Yo, okay. What? what? It's you lot again. Didn't you just say that before? Hey, any of you, um, have you mind pulling out this thing? That stabbing? That stabbing? Oh, it's. I think it's something in, like, in the back of his head or something. Okay, I don't know what the hell it is, but how is this possible? Uh, this weird looking thing. I was certain we were heading straight back to the exit, but we end up back in front of this guy. Don't raise your voice like that because it freaks me out. <laughs> You're the one who's freaking them out, dude. You're fucking big as shit right now. Like, I think it's vice versa. God damn it, I skipped the page. Why'd I do that? I've been here all along. You're the ones who keep running off and they and then come running back. Chopper, we're doing this again to the exit. Roger. Hey, if it's not too much trouble, this thing that's stabbing me. Jump over the Croc River and get back to the coast for sure this time. Okay, so something to keep stabbing him. I don't know what the fuck does that mean though. Like there's a thing that keeps going to arrow. Could it be an enemy stand? No, just kidding. It's not JoJo. Diamond is unbreakable territory. Although, I could use that some of that right now. Shit. What the fuck? Eek. What? Eek. Yow. You scared me. How many times are you going to keep coming back here? It's true that the law post is still messed up. But that shouldn't matter. We were following a simple one-way path. Well, really now. All we had to do was go straight down this... What? What the fuck? Okay. Uh, yikes. Huh, the trees and flowers are moving. Yeah, I swear to God, are we gonna get some flowery shit from Fairy Tale? I'm fucking running for the hill. Shit, no. Those are flowers you don't trust. If you played. Bitch, if you played fucking Undertale, you would know to avoid those flowers at all costs. Now, the ground moved and talked. What in the world's up with this creepy forest? What is that? It's like a fucking sludge? What the hell is that thing? It's funky, but whatever though. We've been found out. We sure have. So there was no correct path to begin with. Oh shit. Yeah, there's the fake Luffy. I called it. I called it. Bitch, you got trapped. Holy shit. Yep, 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 yep. The real. Yo, look at his face. Yo, that's mad creepy. Yo, it looks like Luffy's gonna like strangle Nami and fucking rape her like a serial murderer. What the hell? And you finally realize how scary the woods can be, darling, huh? What's gone into you all of a sudden, Luffy? Right now, you're in the middle of the seducing woods. Nami, that thing isn't the real Luffy. Yeah, no shit, Chopper. You just... You just realize that now that that really isn't Luffy? Who are you? Hmm. Indeed. Who, you ask? Who do... What the hell? What are you, like a witch? It looks like a witch. I don't know, but... Is she? Oh, 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 yo, are we going Hansel and Gretel? Okay, so now we're going from <laughs> fucking Alice in Wonderland to goddamn Hansel and Gretel. Yo, what is going on here? Like, I am so lost right now. What is this shit? Who do you ask? What the fuck am I reading right now? Honestly, we go from Alice in Wonderland to this world. I don't know if it's either Hansel and Gretel or fucking Sleeping Beauty. I don't fucking know, but... I'm confused. Now, now, darling, quit struggling. Let go. It's been right next to you this whole time. No matter how much you run, you'll never be able to escape these woods. These woods? Huh, got him. All right, that joke is bad. I apologize. Sue me for later. Oh, who, uh, who are you? A tree? <laughs> Did she really just say no, bitch? <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. That was funny. It's like no, bitch. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Okay, I'll admit it. that shit was funny as fuck. All right, the name's Bruley. Uh, the name's Bruley. So we got here an adorable little bunny rabbit and an adorable little girl splitting. But the thing is, whenever I see such flawless, ar har what the fuck, harling faces, I have no idea what that means. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh. Ugh, a oh, so she's another, another one. She's another daughter of the fucking goddamn family. Eighth daughter of the Charlotte family. Charlotte Brule. So she's the eighth daughter. Oh my god. So she's on the top original rank. So she's number eight. 
creepy bitch, though. Holy shit, some... Ugh, yeah, definitely the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> like, seriously, though, what the fuck? Maybe Wizard of Oz, who knows? I'm overcome with the urge to slice them up. Damn, bitch, yo, chill, chill, chill. Yo, take it easy. Holy shit, you want to slice and dice already? You don't even know the people. I right, mean, okay, yes, okay, yes, thank you, yes, yes, finally. All right, getting away from all that craziness of the damn woods. Let's get to this shit, which I really, really want to see the most. Big Mom's Castle, yo, here we go, here we go. Oh boy, here we go, this is the shit I wanted to see. Finally, from that mindfuck force. Big Mom's Castle, Whole Cake Cathedral, or rather, the lake uh, right behind it. I told you, it's a gourmet ship. You may have passed through. Big Mouth aboard a cruise, as well as the crews are in the process of becoming so. All granted across to this port. All clear. Back up. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, what the hell? They're like guy in the ship to actually park waves. <coughs> Excuse me. They're, they're doing it to Garma. Oh, the Garma! Yeah! Garma 66! Yo, are we gonna see my members? Yo, are we gonna see my members right now at the Garmay 66? Yes, finally. Thank you, Oda. This is what I've been wanting to see. Ugh, breath of fresh air, shit. Garmay refers to the only ocean kingdom that exists in the world, and one that rules over no stable land. It's dozens of ships sail across the sea, and when they all come back together, this is when their country, a holy formed once more. This is a country ruled by the Vin Smokes, the Vin Smoke family. A family renowned for season control over the entry of the North Blue in the years past. This is the place known as Gurma Kingdom, hell yeah, who has spent every waking moment training and they dare not miss a day. Go with that. The kingdom was a powerful army known as the Gurma 66. Alright, this is really interesting. Keep on going, because I'm actually really intrigued by this now. Which is feared across the whole even to this day, of course. Fucking deadly assassins, man. Of course they're fucking... Yo. The vast majority of its citizens are male soldiers. Hmm. <laughs> no women, I see. How long do you plan on sitting there? And we got... Yo! There's... Sanji! Son! Oh, here we go. Yes, Sanji's back. Alright, finally. We're getting back to this shit. Alright, here we go. And I think that's Sanji's sister? Yeah, it's Sanji's sister, isn't that? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, hotness. Hotness, sexy lady, here we go. Yep, there we go. Pretty lady. Yeah, Jerry Lewis moment, here we go. Always giving me the cold soldier. It's been 13 years since you've got the... Oh, fuck, what was her name again? Shit. I don't fucking remember. Damn it. How do I not remember that? I did a chapter like five weeks ago. How do I not remember her name? But whatever. It'll come back to me. Eventually. I know she's like the poison user. I remember that. Quality time with your older sister. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Sanji, I made it crystal clear that I wanted nothing to do with any of you. We're no longer family. Damn, Sanji's trying to ban his own family. Holy crap. Okay, only a lunatic would want to be part of a family with bad enough taste to put up a picture like this as interior decoration. A photo taken in North Blue during the infamous incident known as the Four Nation Corp. The Four Nation Corp. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Wait, 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 wait. Who the fuck is that in the background? Is that fucking Nico Omushi? I just realized that. Is that Nico Omushi in the fucking picture? Because it looks like him a bit. Sort of. Kind of. It looks like him like back in his younger days. But no, that can't be. Because he's not part of the Garmin 66. I, mean, I know it's probably someone else. Because Garmin 66. But <laughs> I swear to God, he looks exactly like him. Except like... This is probably like way thousands of years ago. Probably in ancient times. Our father's dream is for Gurma to rule over the entry of the Northern Seas once more. Nothing's wrong with a man brainwashing his fame and power. Wait! Yo! So is that Sanji's father? Wait. Hmm. I gotta read more into this. Hold on. Wait. Hold up. Hey, you could be here, taking full advantage of your royal blood. Instead, to choose to gallant alongside some puny pirate crew while leading a mundane life. Look here. These ten maids will be at your beck and call. Yo! Ah, oh, Sanji. Oh my god. But of course. 
Uh, we will do as your heart desires, Prince Sanji. It's all possible because you are royalty. Damn, Sanji, get all the bitches. Oh, Sanji. Sanji could. Oh, he better control his blood level, man. Like, I remember last time at Fishman Island, he pretty much almost fucking died. Like, oh, shit. But, no, come on. The dude's going to be, well, I doubt he's, he's not going to get married. He's not. I highly doubt it, but. He has a fiance, so he kind of needs to sort of chill. Yeah, kind of. You have soldiers who will lay down their lives for you, and money would never be a problem here. What could you possibly have to complain about? The Vince Mokes have attained so much over the generations with brute strength, and you two are a blood member of this family. And then Sanji's like, quit the sales pitch. It's got intention of. Uh, I've got no intention of marrying that girl. Oh, so Sanji's like, fuck her. Even though she's mad cute, I have no intentions of marrying her. Like. Okay, so Santi is going to find a way to dip from this wedding. I pretty much called it. That was going to happen anyway. But regardless, though, um, I mean, it sucks because it would be nice. She's very sweet, but again, I don't trust her for one second. Especially what she's doing to your fucking crew, dude. That's a really smart move. I applaud you for that because, honestly, she did lead them to a fucking death trap zone. So, yeah, good play on you, Sanji. Re really good. Really smart man. Isn't putting such a sweetheart, though I really like her a lot. Too sweet. Too fucking sweet. Commander, where are you heading off to? This room this room Sanji is in. Fa um, father, to what do we owe? Daddy's home! Oh, daddy's home! Oh, shit! It was Sanji's father! Oh! Oh, shit! Are you still attending on giving me a hard time? King of Gorma Kingdom, Commander of the Gourmet 66, Vin Smoke, Judgy. Oh my god. So that really is whole. He looks nothing like Sanji, though. He looks not. Yo, he looks nothing like them. Yo, he looks mad beastly. He looks like he's about to fuck dudes up, yo. He, oh my god, he looks like something he would be like in Game of Thrones or something. Yo, completely off guard. Holy shit. The main commander of the Gourmet 66, Vince Smoke Jaji. Oh my god. So Sanji and his sister are probably bowing down to their fucking father right now. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, so I was right when they were talking about the picture in the background. So that, what? Yo, I can't believe I called that shit. I, all I did was just guess, and that actually was his father. Oh my god. And, he, and you can tell he looks older. You, you can tell he looks like he looks like a really badass commander. Son, I quit calling me that. Even if I were to admit that I have a parent, um, it sure as hell wouldn't be with you. Did you do something to Yanji? I'll have you know that boy strength is quite friendable. Then I suppose it turned out just that I just happened to be stronger. Oh shit. Let's take this outside. Men can only speak clearly with one another using their fists. No, no. Well, Sandy, of course, he uses his kicks. Fuck fisting. Fuck fisting. <laughs> Fuck fisting. He uses his kicks mainly. But, oh, that's a chapter. God damn it. Fuck. No. I want to see more of that. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Daddy is not happy with that shit. Sanji versus father. A family reunion. The Vin Smoke way. Yo, that's bad. Okay, alright. Uh, that ending though was, was hype. It was hype. Alright. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh. Sanji's poppy. Oh my god. He looks strong as shit. Yo. I bet you this dude's probably got massive hockey. Holy shit. He's probably got, like, a lot of them. Nice and available. Continue to the comments. Yeah, I don't care for the whole PayPal shit. All right. So that's a chapter. Oh, boy. So that is a chapter. Overall, um... Yeah, this chapter definitely made up for the last chapter that we definitely had. But the beginning stuff, even though it was still mindfuckery with these goddamn, you know trap woods from hell like okay yeah you know that shit but it turns out that technically now they're pretty much even more screwed because the real the fake luffy pretty much caught them and now we got this this huge this ugly nasty witch bitch which is like the eighth daughter of the charlotte family and she's pretty much got um what's her face carrot and nami like pretty much all like trapped together pretty much so she pretty much 
like mind fucked with the trap when it comes to for Carrot and for Nami. And of course, um, whatchamacallit. Well, Carrot was fighting, what's his face? Randolph, that fucking rabbit, Mihawk looking dude. Well, Mihawk looking rabbit. Yeah. So, man, I really wanted to see them fight more though, because. But it's weird how he can actually re predict himself from electricity. That was actually, you know, pretty cool. So he must have something. Like, maybe he was on Zoa himself. Maybe he might have been from Zoa. But maybe she just doesn't remember him, though. That he was pretty much from um, from Zoa. I mean, maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. But I'm not sure. Who knows? But, oh, man. So that was pretty good. I mean, I liked it the way it compared to the last time. Because, you no, know, they were just acting pretty... But the Apple Juice dude, yeah, fuck him. I don't care. But... Regardless, though, besides the beginning stuff, the ending of this chapter, Sanji's pappy, we saw what he looked like, and and he's about to duke it out with his own son. So, okay, wow. Um, okay. Now, I could give this chapter, well, I was just gonna give it, like, um, eh, I was gonna give it maybe like a, a 3.5, well, or 4, or close to a 4, maybe like a good chapter. Because we had a lot more stuff on the Gourmet 66. But other than that, I'm actually going to give this a great chapter. Like, I really am going to give this a great chapter. Like, I really, really am. Like, even though, yeah, we had the Mindfuck Force at the beginning, it wasn't nearly, like, really bad at all compared to what we had the last chapter, where it was basically all focused on that. And this whole Mindfuck game, this whole hide and seek game was getting kind of old, it was getting kind of repetitive, so it was like, whatever. This time around, I'm actually glad we expanded upon that and moved on to Gourmet 66. So that was really cool, that was hype. Seeing Sunday far, that was good, I'm ready for next week, so I'm gonna give it a great, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of 5, making it a great, great plus chapter, definitely much better compared to the last one we got. Not fantastic, but close enough to a great. I could've just given it a good to be kind of nice, or maybe just like a good chapter, but nah. It definitely gets a 4.5, because the ending can either make or break a chapter, and it really made this chapter a lot. Like, oh my god. So yeah, that was cool. Definitely cannot wait. Lots of new characters got introduced, and then we got Sandy's father. Let's go. Give me your thoughts in the comments below of this week's chapter of One Piece, chapter 832. And that's pretty much it. So, of course, there's still going to be chapters going on. Probably for, like, another couple weeks. Maybe up to, like, maybe 835 or something like that. Maybe probably 835. And then probably Oda will take another break. Like, he always does as usual. So, yeah, I'm done. So, give me your thoughts. And I'm pretty much done. Thank you so much. This is the Ninja Reviewer signing out. Saying peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And then I will see you for the Toriko um, pretty soon. I'll see you for Toriko as well, for you Toriko fans out there. So, yeah. So, later on. Bye-bye.